BERT was a game-changing NLP model which was released in 2018. It could summarize text, understand the text sentiment, and you could even ask it questions. It was like a one-stop NLP model. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. Today we will look into BERT, understand its impact in the NLP domain, and train it on the IMDB dataset. Before BERT, the NLP models were processed sequentially, either from left to right or right to left. BERT, however, was trained bidirectionally, which means both left to right and right to left. This gave BERT a better understanding of the language semantics. BERT has been pre-trained on two tasks, mask language modeling and next sentence prediction. In mask language modeling, BERT randomly masks a few words and then tries to predict them. For example, hi, how blank are you? Here the blank is R. This teaches BERT the relationship between words. In next sentence prediction, BERT is given a pair of sentences and it has to figure out whether the second sentence is connected to the first. This teaches BERT the relationship between sentences. Let's understand these tasks better on Google Colab. To follow along with me, open the blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive an email with the notebook link, download it and let's get started. We'll need the Hugging Face Transformer library to use the pipeline module. Then simply initialize the pipeline for mask language modeling. Pass the task as fill task and pass the model as BERT base uncased. Uncased means uh, no case, no uppercase, no lowercase. Now call the pipeline module and pass the sentence with a mask token. The model will output five words with its confidence scores. For the next task, we'll again initialize the pipeline module with sentiment analysis task. Then we'll pass the sentences to the pipeline and you'll get the sentiment of the sentences. The movie was great as a positive sentiment with a very high confidence score. And it was a bad experience at the amusement park as a negative sentiment with a very high confidence score. Now let's train BERT on IMDB movie review dataset. First things first, set up the Colab instance and install the required modules. We'll need a few Hugging Face modules, namely datasets to load the IMDB review dataset, evaluate to assess BERT's performance and accelerate to simplify the training process. Then we will import the modules and define the hyperparameters. 32 as the batch size with 32 parallel processors. We'll also set the learning rate to train the module for two epochs. And then we download the IMDB dataset using load dataset. We get 25,000 train and 25,000 test IMDB reviews for sentiment analysis. Here is a sample data. The text is the movie review and the label is the sentiment of it. Zero is negative and one is positive. As we pre-process the images in computer vision, similarly, we need to tokenize the text to numbers. This is because NLP models cannot work with raw text. We initialize a tokenizer specifically for BERT and create a helper function to tokenize the text. We then map the tokenizer function to the train and test dataset. Also, as we resize the images in computer vision to the same resolution for model input, we also need to bring all the sentences to the same length. Next, we need a metric to evaluate the model training. Here we are choosing accuracy as the metric. Then we initialize the BERT model and define the training arguments. For example, the learning rate, the batch size, the number of epochs and more. Finally, pass the model, the training arguments, the train and test dataset, the tokenizer, data collator and the metric to the trainer API. And when you're ready, call trainer.train. Now to run the inference, load the train model and again call the pipeline function, give the task as text classification and pass the model and the tokenizer. Here we read a text to classify the review sentiment and it is positive. So that's all about BERT NLP model. If you like this video, why don't you check out the transformer-based OCR model, TROCR. 
it has a language model that is a modified version of Word. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.